Welcome back. One of the things that Chat GPT will do for you is to create new context for content that you already have or for ideas that you already have. For example, if we were to take an existing document and we were to take all of the text and to place it inside of Chat GPT, what we're going to do is to give Chat GPT context and to tell the chatbot to write it in the context that we specify. Once we have the context, we're going to click Shift Enter and we are then going to paste in our article. We're then going to click Enter. And we're going to allow ChatGPT to rewrite the article. Now, it's a good idea to take your content that you have created and to move it through other applications. One paid application we can run our content through is Copyscape. Now, Copyscape does have a charge associated with it. However, the charge is minimal and you can do what's called a premium search so that Copyscape can check your content against other content on the internet. We're now going to click premium search and our content has now passed the Copyscape test. We can also run the same content through another system. We can place the same content inside of the Grammarly plagiarism checker and we can then scan our new content for plagiarism. According to Grammarly, no plagiarism is found. If you have an account with Grammarly, you can fix other issues according to Grammarly when it comes to the writing. However, we can run the same content through another tool that's commonly available to individuals that use the Microsoft suite of products. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Hey, this is uh, Chapel North. Thanks again for watching the video. If you'd like to get more videos like this, click the link below this video, and we'll have some more videos for you that you can watch that will teach you how to use uh, ChatGPT for beginners. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.